you made it. We're on day eight. Welcome to our eight day detox challenge that I'm hosting with Yogi Surprise. And they make these beautiful monthly care packages for yogis. I'm so glad you're still with me and I have a super beautiful flow for us to celebrate with as we wrap up this challenge. I'll see you on the mat. To begin, we're gonna start in downward facing dog. So just come on down. And begin to pedal the legs, spread all the fingers as far apart from one another as you can. And from here, we'll just begin to focus in on the breath. So take a deep breath in through the nose, fill up three counts. Exhale through the nose, three counts. And inhale. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull the navel back. Good. I'm just bending through the knees. I like to imagine I'm like a little leopard or something pawing the ground. Just keep bending through one knee and then the other. Deep breath in. And we're finding a pause at the top of the in-breath. Deep breath out. Good. And now find complete stillness. So no more movement. No more pedaling the legs. Just legs bent or straight and be still. Expand through the fingers. Press down through the knuckles of the hands. And rotate your biceps towards the left and right of the room. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands, low lunge, left knee to the ground, circle the arms down, around and out. Mm, breathe in, mm, breathe out. And then take the right hand to the right hip, just reach the left arm up and over, big side body stretch. The right hand can come to the floor if you can reach. Mm, let it feel good. Breathe into the left side ribs like they're an accordion, expand them apart with your breathing. And then let the left um, shoulder drop down, so you kind of round down. Hands frame the foot, listen carefully. Curl the left toes under, step to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart. Inhale, half lift, get long. Exhale, fold. Good, to come up, listen carefully. You're gonna reach the right hand forward and the left arm back. So inhale, reach. And then exhale, circle the arms around. Good. A couple more times. Reach forward, circling the arms, just feeling through the shoulders. Good. Last two. Last one. Try to end with both arms up. And we'll just exhale, swan dive back down. So we're just really loosening up the shoulders. Inhale, half. Exhale, step the right foot back in space, right knee to the mat, low lunge. Circle the arms down, around, and up. Breathe in. Breathe out, take the biceps back in space. And good, breathe in. Exhale, collarbones back in space. Take the left hand to the hip or the floor, reach the right arm up and over, big side body stretch. Pull the navel in, draw the shoulders down and back, and then puff out through the side ribs. Let those right side ribs really expand like an accordion. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let the shoulder round down, hands frame the foot. Step it back, down dog, rock forward to plank. And then let the knees drop. You're gonna flutter the lips as we take the throat to the floor. So you're gonna go, Nice little release, come into your cobra pose. And exhale, press onto the knees and then back to your downward facing dog. Good, bend the, inhale the left leg up and back. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, low lunge, right knee to the ground. Circle the arms down, around and up. This time, just exhale, press the air away, clasp the hands behind the low back, send that fist down and back, open the chest, lift the heart, and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, frame the foot.
Curl the back toes under, step the right foot forward, hip width apart of the left, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, and then we'll do our little circular movements to come up, so reach the right hand forward and the left hand back, and just sweep up, and then just switch it around. So you're just having this like fun airplane arms to see if you can really find the sides of each wall. Just opening up the shoulders, two more rounds. Good, and then end with both arms up. As you're ready, just swan dive right back forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, set the left foot back in space, left knee to the mat, low lunge. Circle the arms down, around, and up. And exhale, press the air away. Clasp the hands behind the low back. See if you can find the opposite interlacing. Drag that fist down and back. Drag the shoulder blades down and back. Lift the heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. Hands frame the foot. Step it back. Down dog. Good. Forward to your plank pose. Knees, chest, chin, option to flutter the lips. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, knees to downward facing dog. Good, take the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two. Good. So nice long stance, really see if you can get that front thigh parallel to the floor. And then from here, we're going to turn the palms face up. And as you do, I'm going to allow you, I want you to really open the chest, yeah? Like look up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're going to round the upper body, take the hands down, take the thumbs down, and turn the palms towards the ceiling the opposite way. And then flow through this a few more times on your own, keeping a deep warrior two stance. So you're going to open and you're gonna close. Spiral the thumbs down, round the shoulders. Good, spiral the palms up so the thumbs face back. Open the chest, spiral the thumbs face down and then palms up in the opposite way. Last one. Exhale. Good, come to neutral. Feel the arms so long, like someone's pulling the arms apart in opposite directions. Reach forward to go back, reverse. Mm, exhale, side angle pose. Good, so you can always heel toe that back foot in a little bit. We're gonna play with the idea of binding. So level one, you can always just keep the elbow on the knee. Level two, three, you can use a block, or you can begin playing with the half bind by taking the left hand behind you and just see if you can hold on to your shirt or the inside of the thigh. And then level two, three, if you're moving on, full bind, you're gonna try to clasp the left wrist and send the upper body back in space. We're here for three, for two, last one. Release the hands, cartwheel the arms up, straighten the front leg, and then turn the toes forward. So both toes face forward towards me. Inhale, we'll rotate palms up, rotate palms down. Take the thumbs back the other way. Inhale, opening. Exhale, rotating down. Good, and then inhale, open. And this time, just like the hands come to the hips, maybe widen the stance, make sure the toes are in, heels out. Just let yourself sink down all the way. Good. Inhale, find a flat back. So inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Really press through the outer edges of the foot. Toes in, heels out to your little pigeon toe. You're looking for a stretch on the outer shins. And exhale, fold. So do this two or three more times on your own. So your in-breath creates a flat back. You get nice and long. Your out-breath, you take the collarbones back and the heart forward as you sink deeper. Follow your own breath for length. Follow your own breath to fold. Good. Pull up through the legs. Stay folded forward now. Press down through the toes and the heels and pull up through the arches of your feet. Feel the thigh bones engage, kneecaps lifted. 
Good, and then just take the left hand underneath the face, reach the right hand high to the sky. Easy twist. Lengthen the tailbone back, pull your core up and in, and then just reach, twist a little deeper. Last breath, legs are strong. Exhale, take it to the other side. Right hand underneath the face, left arm up. And level one, or you could even not level one, right? It's always nice to use a block here too if you need it. And lift the arms up. So see if you need more height. You can always prop up on the fingertips as well. Spiral chest to ceiling, but keep the hips square to the ground. So you could balance a T-set on your low back and the spiral is happening really in the upper back. Big breath in. And exhale, twist deeper. Good, last breath. Exhale, hands. Come back down to the floor. I want you to walk your hands over to the right and you're gonna find a runner's lunge. So the right foot is forward, left heel back. Breathe in and then breathe out. Step back to your plank pose. Spin to the outer edge of the left foot and reach the right hand high to the sky for side plank. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. Level one, you can always have the left knee on the ground to make it a little easier and have more balance. Last breath. Reach the right arm towards the top of the room. Arc the body. And then exhale. Take it down. Plank. Chaturanga. Or skip it. Good. Take the left leg high to the sky. Exhale. Knee to nose just once. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Warrior two, cartwheel up. Good, so that front heel bisects that back arch and then really challenge yourself to get that front thigh parallel to the floor. Back thigh is picking up. Good, and then spin the palms face up. Good, open across the chest and kind of arch back. And then exhale, spin the palms down. You're gonna round forward. Good. A couple more times on your own, and I will turn to face you. Good. So we're inhaling, opening, exhaling, rounding in. Last time. Good. Imagine you're getting longer, like the arms being pulled apart more as you do this. Good. And once you come to center, really feel the arms pulled in opposite directions. Reach forward to go back, reverse. And then exhale, side angle pose. Heel toe the back foot in if you need to. Elbow to knee, hand to floor or block. Deep breath in. So find where you can most easily breathe and work there. Rotate chest to ceiling. Playing with the half bind, you can take right hand behind the low back to hold on to the inner left thigh for the half bind and full bind. You wanna have really holding the wrist. So I'll show it from the back once again. Here we are. So see if you can hold the whole wrist. And if you have the bind, then work on straightening the elbows, right? That's the next step. Last breath. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Come into your little runner's lunge. Pop the right heel up. Send the chest forward, breathe in. Exhale, plank pose, hold. Spin to the outer edge of the right foot. Lift the left arm up this time for your side plank. Big breath in. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. Level one, you can always have the knee on the ground or wrist issues, knee on the ground. Wrist issues, you can always do, always do this pose on your forearm as well. Last breath. Reach the left arm up and over, really arc the body, and then exhale, take it down, and plank, chaturanga, or skip it. And deep breath in. Deep breath out. Step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up, look up. Mm, exhale, press the air away. 
Come to your chair pose, toes touch, heels apart, sink low. Spin the pinkies in, plug the shoulders down and back. We're gonna be here for four deep breaths. So squeeze the inner thighs together, pull the navel in, curl the tailbone forward so there's no arch in the low back. Good, we're here for four breaths. Deliberately heating the body. Good, and then level two, three, if you want, take the hands to prayer and see if you can lift the heels. And wherever you are, see if you can lift the heels and we're lowering slowly to the floor. See if you can squeeze the inner thighs together. Maybe you find a little balance here. Last breath. Good, and then we'll gently rock back to a seated position. Good, so just mirror me, pull one Ankle in and let the other leg go long. Make sure you're up on the sits bones. You can also sit up on a blanket or on props. And then you'll look over at the left hand if you're mirroring me and reach it up and over. Big side body stretch. Mm, breathe in. Breathe out. And if you have blocks at home, it's nice to have a block under this elbow and feel a little bit more height in this shape as well, so you can, you can play with that. Good, wherever you are, two more breaths. Really anchoring the left sitting bone down. And keeping this right foot really flexed. And last breath. Good, come back up to center, take the hands to the thighs for a minute, breathe in. Breathe out. And then switch sides. So if you're mirroring me, you'll now have the right ankle in. Make sure that left foot is really flexed and active. Press the left thigh bone down into the mat. And then look and take the right arm up and over. Big side stretch. And press down through the left thigh. Almost so much that that heel is lifting off the ground. And rotate the shoulder towards the sky. Last two breaths. Shoulders glide down the back, navel in. Just filling up those left side ribs like an accordion. Just expand them with breath. And exhale all the way. Good. Slowly come back up. Rest the hands on the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, and then take the feet forward, rest the soles of the feet towards the top of the mat, press down through the toes, reach the arms forward, and lean back. Draw the shoulder blades down and back, pull the navel back and in, feel the abdominals engage. And imagine there's this string between your collarbone shooting straight to the ceiling, so you're nice and tall. From here, pull the navel back, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, press the air away. Create your own resistance. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the air away. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, imagine someone punched you in the low stomach this time. Press the air away, but round the low back. We'll round down one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing to touch the ground. And then press the soles of the feet into the mat. Take the hips an inch to the left. Drop the hips and let the knees fall to the right. Take the arms wide in a cactus shape. You can also wrap the left leg over the right for a nice reclined supine twist. Let the breath flow. Just absorbing the benefits of this shape passively. Good, and then for your last three breaths here, just lengthen the legs a little bit. So let the knees move towards the top of the mat. Just uncoil the twist so it's not quite as intense. Good, and then 
slowly come back to center. Press the soles of the feet into the floor. Take the hips an inch to the right. And this time let the knees fall left or double wrap, right leg over left and twist. For these last few breaths, just let the knees get long and move towards the top of the mat. Just so the twist is a little less tight, a little more loose. Sometimes we get so excited we're twisting, we're kind of secretly tensing. So just make the twist more easeful. Take the knees towards the top of the mat, away from the face. And three breaths. Really come back to center, press the feet into the mat, lift the sits bones, set them right in the center between your two heels, and then pull the knees into the chest. Good, little rock and roll up to your comfortable seat. And just find your comfortable meditation seat so you can always sit up on a blanket or up on a pillow. Good, and for today's meditation, the mudra will take us knuckles together, thumbs just lightly touching. How it's gonna work is we're gonna inhale for three counts. Hold, retain the breath for eight, and then we'll do eight sniffs out the nose. Inhale for eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Eight sniffs out the nose. Hold the breath out for eight. Inhale, eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Eight sniffs out the nose. Hold the breath out for eight. Inhale for eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Eight sniffs out. Hold the breath out of the body for eight. And then inhale eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Eight sniffs out the nose. Hold the breath out for eight. Inhale, eight. Hold, retain the breath for eight. Eight sniffs out the nose. And hold the breath out for eight. Two more times. Deep inhale. Fill up eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Retain the breath. Maybe pull the groin up and in. Eight sniffs out the nose. Hold the breath out for eight. Inhale, eight. Hold the breath at the top for eight. Eight sniffs out the nose. Hold the breath out for eight. Keep the eyes closed. And just let the palms rest in your lap. So you can just have the left palm resting in the right palm, just in your laps. Keep the eyes closed, breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out, just sitting nice and tall, noticing the after effects of the breath. 
Just feeling the crown of your head rise into your tallest spine. And from here, I want you to visualize the exact center point of your heart, so wherever that feels like it is for you. Just visualize the center of the heart, like a pinpoint of light there. Feel that light just get brighter and brighter and brighter. Shining from your heart center. And the light gets so bright that it's almost blinding. It's like whitewashed. And then from there emerges a flower. And just note the color and shape of this flower that resides at the center of the heart. See it. And what color is it? What does it look like? Just fusing that flower at the center of the heart into your brain, into your memory, and printed in your unconscious. Slowly take the right hand, place it on top of the heart, and then place the left hand on top as well. And as you fuse this vision of the flower into your subconscious, into your mind, just know that you can visualize the flower at any time. You just want to remember this challenge, this practice, how you felt throughout this week, it was a symbol of our time together. Slowly take the hands back down to your lap. Just dip the chin. Take a deep breath in. And exhale completely. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale completely. Slowly open your eyes to take in the rest of the room. You made it. Thank you so much. And huge congratulations for making it to the very, very last day of the challenge. I'm so proud of you. I absolutely want to hear how you're doing. So give me a comment below. Let me know how this went. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me on social media and our private Facebook group that you finished that you're here with me on day eight and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Once again, huge thanks to Yogi Surprise for making this whole challenge happen. And remember, you can win a lifetime membership to their Yoga Lifestyle subscription box by clicking the link right here. I'm so grateful that you joined me. I'm so proud that we made it through. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Remember, if you are doing this challenge with me live, you have the opportunity to hang out with me every day of the challenge on YouTube and Periscope so I can answer your questions and we can all chat and talk about yoga live. So remember you can join me for tea after class, 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. London time. I can't wait to chat with you.